Now, there's nothing better than having to put on the shelf some Red Bulls. And these ones are extremely good, so if you haven't tried them yet, try them, because they are really good. Come on, guys. <laughs> it looks super nice. Now, I thought that it might be helpful to show you what I actually use on a daily basis for my creative process really good and tell you the reason behind why i bought for example the last macbook pro the imac etc so all my gear the reason behind why i bought all my gear i'm super pumped for this video because i actually love my desk and what i have on my desk it's been a dream of mine since i discovered technology to buy an iphone an apple product in general and right now i 100 rely on apple products for every kind of stuff that i do because they are reliable powerful and they are super nice in a design perspective so of course I buy them. What gives me the right energy? Red Bull. So why I decided to buy the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro? The reason is because uh, in 2020 when Apple just decided to shift from Intel to M1, I bought their first uh, M1 MacBook Pro and I saw the power and potential of the M1 chip. But with certain things, so for example in After Effects with big projects, uh, the processor couldn't keep up with my work workflow. So right now I decided to buy the M1 Pro and this machine guys, I can tell you, is freaking amazing and for creatives if you're a designer a filmmaker a web designer web developer you can't ask for more and i haven't bought the 16 inches macbook pro with the m1 max so first of all because i don't need the power of the m1 max and i also have the imac so i don't need a bigger screen so the 14 inches is the best compromise for power and screen size i use my macbook pro when i'm not at home in my studio and on my desk and i can do whatever i want and I, the computer can keep up with everything that I do and with my workflows. You can also work on heavy projects without uh, seeing the computer lagging, crashing. Final Cut without any problems. Uh, After Effects, uh, even with big projects, uh, no problems at all. Figma, Figma is not that heavy as a program, but without any problem even in Figma. And I can also open multiple softwares uh, with uh, big projects uh, without any problem, without any lag or crash. Uh, and that's a huge point for the MacBook Pro because in reliability, this computer is the best. Now, why I have the iPad? Basically, I don't work a lot on my iPad for graphic design, but I use it if I wanna create mood boards, if I wanna take notes because of the Apple Pencil, super handy. I can now take quick notes, and that was a game changer when I discovered them and when I bought the iPad because I wasn't used to take notes on paper and to write down the ideas that I had. And if I don't write my ideas down, I usually forget them, so it was a really big game changer. And with the Apple ecosystem, I can write my notes uh, on the iPad uh, and see them uh, on all my other devices, uh, for example on iMac, uh, on my MacBook Pro, on my iPhone, I can see them everywhere. And last but not least, uh, the most useful thing that I do on my iPad is creating mood board for my projects directly in the iPad. It's super useful because uh, I take, I don't know, right now on the iPad you have the split screen uh, or if you have a MacBook, an iPad Pro with the M1 chip, uh, you can have stages so you can basically work on an iPad like you're working on a computer and I take images from websites, uh, social networks like Pinterest, Instagram and I drag them into an application uh, that allows me to create these mood boards. It's fairly simple, the application is very simple but it does the job uh, and it's super fun to do a mood board uh, with the touch screen. Uh, it's another way to work uh, instead of having to use the mouse or the trackpad uh, on a computer. Having the iPad with all the other devices uh, in the Apple ecosystem is a huge advantage for your workflow so I highly recommend you if you don't have an iPad buy one because it can change the way you work more than you think. Now the core of my desk setup is of course the iMac you saw it in the video so I have the base model with the M1 chip and I think that for what I have to do on the iMac is more than enough. Now I bought the iMac just for two relatively stupid things. I wanted a fairly big screen with a really high resolution which is this one is 5k so it's a really nice resolution and I wanted 
having a monitor that has a super high fidelity color representation and Apple's monitor are a standard since uh, I don't even know. So that's the reason why I bought the iMac. And I use the iMac, of course, when I'm at home because I can't carry it wherever it goes. And for Figma, when I have to work on big projects, is a really nice device because you have, of course, a bigger screen than a MacBook Pro, for example, and you can see much more things than a MacBook Pro. And that's the reason why I have an iMac. And to be completely honest, if you have a fairly big project, a fairly complex project in After Effects, this computer is not the way to go. So if you're thinking about buying an iMac or a MacBook Pro, definitely go with the MacBook Pro. Now things that are smaller, but they complete the whole package of my desk setup and make everything more fun. First of all, the HomePod Mini, of course, I couldn't buy the Google Assistant or the Alexa one because I have Apple, I stick with Apple, I'm sorry. And it's a really nice speaker and it helps you when you have to take notes, uh, vocal notes, uh, you don't have time to write them down. Uh, if you wanna listen to some music, Apple Watch, I use it every day for my notifications, alarms, uh, reminders, um, emails. And again, Apple ecosystem, you can do a bunch of things uh, with the Apple Watch in the Apple ecosystem. So definitely recommend it if you have an iPhone, an iPad and a MacBook Pro. Speaking of other Apple devices, I have the iPhone 12 mini and I know it's almost September but and Apple is gonna announce the new iPhones but I don't care because uh, the, the iPhone 12 mini basically has everything that I want uh, as a nice camera the only downside is the battery but the workaround is a power bank it's not a big downside it's Apple ecosystem uh, and everything that I need from a phone uh, this is the way to go is small compact uh, so I can carry it around without any problem that's all for me guys uh, for my desk setup so right now you saw what I have on my desk uh, and what I usually use uh, for my workflow and there is nothing better for your work and for your productivity than working with the right devices and in the right workspace because guys if you have the right desk setup uh, and if you work in a workspace uh, that meets your needs uh, and that you feel comfortable in uh, makes a huge difference in your productivity instead of having a uh, maybe a desk setup that is a mess uh, or a studio that you don't like and if you work in your bedroom definitely don't worry guys uh, try to mix things around uh, try to move your desk uh, your bed uh, and try to make your workspace more interesting for yourself that's basically what I've done with my studio I hope you found this video helpful and that you learned something and said I made you decide that if you want to buy for example an iMac or a MacBook Pro or an iPad definitely let me know in the comments down below how I changed your life with this video smash the like button if you like it and subscribe to my channel don't forget it because it's super important to me and I'll see you in the next video whoop 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 whoop